a kind of back-to-back -back books about uh, essentially brain and what we see or what we perceive versus what actually reality is. So the previous book I reviewed was this, you know, kind of uh, think fast and slow about system one, so system two, automatic thinking, automatic thought process, and default, or and then the conscious. But this one is more about uh, do we really see what we're seeing? Is that that object does it exist, or is that the actual object that whatever we see is that re reality or not? Donald Hoffman. I've been listening to him in several podcasts. So his material, the book actually wasn't like a lot of new things for me anyway, because I've listened to him multiple times, but the details, the various theories and various proofs he present proofs he presented were new to me. So it was great to read that book. So for example, it kind of goes through in a simple way to kind of parallel to what, let's say we see in computers to what reality is. For example, in computers, when you are editing a file or deleting a file or looking at a folder, you see icons, right? A folder icon is kind of like a blue thing, whatever, depending on the laptop computer you're seeing. And then the file is actual words, documents, everything. But is that really actually a document inside the computer? No. It's a bits and byte, bits and pieces or bytes, zero ones that are within the electronics and the electronic self are pure atoms and all that stuff. So reality, not what we're seeing. Henceforth, his whole thing is essentially about how our interface, basically calls our interface, right? Headset, headset. Basically, we are wearing a headset and we are seeing based on our biology, history, genetics, uh, the essentially he calls it a fitness payoff basically whatever is good for us that's how we see it like what is an apple an apple obviously is an edible fruit and all that stuff but real really is the apple an apple if you really truly look under a microscope it's basically atoms quantum so on and so forth so his whole theory is that what we see is how our brain, neurocells, whatever, interprets a certain way. So it's not actual reality. Now, does it mean that, like, you know, one of the things is, okay, fine. If it's not reality, if I jump in front of a bus, if I feel like it doesn't exist, then, okay, I'm be, I'll be fine just because I don't believe it. No, that's not what he's saying. He's saying, yes, an object, that thing, whatever, might exist, but that's not ex exactly what, what it is, what you're seeing. It's more our interface creating essentially that object as it is, as we, you know, our genetics, whatever, makes it feel like. So obviously, like, you know, maybe some animals, like a fly might see the same thing differently, completely differently than what we see. He goes into those examples, right? Like a beetle, I forgot what kind of beetle, but anyway, you know, Australian beetle evidently was mating with a beer bottle because it kind of was essentially looking like a female beetle, essentially, or the colors, whatever. So that's how it is, right? Re reality is for, that's for the beetle right? Like what that object was. So they had to change the beer bottles, make sure that, so that the beetles survive because they were dying because they were trying to make on that and just, you know, dying. So anyway, great read to look at a different perspective. Like, you know, you go to this unsigned text, you know, especially, you know, if you go to the Indian text, right? Old text, you know, where it says everything is essentially Maya illusion, right? Which is basically, in other words, that's what, you know, Donald Hoffman is saying, essentially, that it's an illusion. 
that reality is not exactly what we think it is. It's completely different because we just see it based on essentially our genetics and however our neurons, everything is actually make it safe for us, like the fitness payoff, whatever he talks about. Ultimately, it's a lot of detailed information on, you know, on how he actually created a, a mathematical formula to show that reality is not real, right? And we have a cycle that we constantly do to perceive reality or what things we're seeing and things we're perceiving. Anyway, I would say great book. It's hard to get this book, by the way. It takes time because it's not widely available. Um, hey, if, you, if not the book, listen to him. I highly recommend listening to him to give you a different perspective, whether we are religious or not, or spiritual. But I think this kind of combines it. The old texts and all that stuff on, on how everything is based on what you believe is true, right? Essentially, kind of. But anyway, highly, highly recommend this uh, reading this book or listening to Donald Hoffman and understanding what he's saying, talking about reality and the, his headset, the whole concept of headset, that we have a headset. Once we take off the headset, we see something else, uh, which is basically the yogis or the highly evolved uh, meditation experts. Sometimes they say things, they see things that we normal people don't see who are not highly spiritual or highly inner inward looking and then they look at things completely different than how we see so anyway great book highly recommend it